In the year 1913, Mosley observed and measured the X-ray spectra of various chemical elements, mostly metals, that were found by the method of diffraction through crystals. This was a pioneering use of the method of X-ray spectroscopy in physics, using Bragg's diffraction law to determine the X-ray wavelengths. Mosley discovered a systematic mathematical relationship between the wavelengths of the X-rays produced deuced, and the atomic numbers of the metals that were used as the targets in X-ray tubes. Today this has become known as Mosley's Law. He used it to fix the periodic table. Three of us, a chemists, a physicist and a mechanical engineer visited Oxford University's Museum Oxford, England which held the equipment that mostly put together for his experiments. The purpose of our visit was to gather as much information as we possibly could about his instruments and his experiments so that we could replicate them for a movie sponsored by the National Science Foundation called The Mystery of Matter. The staff of the museum were very accommodating. We were able to take hundreds of pictures, notes and measurements We've added a few photos in the note of the outcome of our replication. The spectroscope. Different atoms when heated create different flame colors, in the visible. When they are made very very hot they give off X-rays. A spectroscope can tell you a lot about an atom. Ho. Hot it is. Which element it is. What atomic number it is. How fast is it traveling, etc. Mosley chose to look at the X-ray spectrum of the elements to see what he could learn from them. As a physicist he learned, for us, a lot, about chemistry. A historical perspective. We have included, some photographs of our carefully made, working, replicas of, an early Bunsen and Kirchhoff spectroscope, not made out of a cigar box, nor, garden telescopes, and Mosley's vacuum diffraction. Crystal, grading spectrograph. Studying the light, the spectrum, from a capillary hydrogen lamp, using a diffraction grating, C, Mosley's favorite hydrogen lines in the visible. Mosley, hit, other elements, with high voltage driven electrons, which generated the same combination of spectral lines, but in X-rays which cannot be seen, but can be photographed, be measured. Okay, here's the Mosley gear. The uh, thing in the center here is the X-ray tube. Down, so electrons will be going down through this X-ray tube, and they'll be hitting down in this area here, at the bottom. And they'll be creating, uh, spectra, x-ray spectra from the samples which are down here. Used special Ilford x-ray photographic plates to capture, record the spectrum developed by his potassium ferrocyanide crystal which acted as a diffraction grating in his spectrograph. In almost all cases, the time of exposure was five minutes. The plates were all developed in an open tray using Rodin as the developer. The development was done using a red safety lamp to keep track, visually, of the process. He used a brush on the plates to increase the dynamic range of exposure so that there would be less loss on the weaker spectral features and overexposure on the stronger features. Is there focus? Yeah. Focus. Okay, let's see what that does. Important thing we can learn from Mosley and his work is no one in science work alone. He was surrounded by very bright people. Each of those people added something to his project. No scientist works alone. Every so-called great scientist was was at the right place at the right time with the right equipment. They work together as a team sharing their discoveries. Thanks for watching and listening. Good luck from Jim and Rhoda Morris.